The Lab Group and Device Control is a useful piece of software for configuring C-Series and FP-Series amplifiers. We will go through the offline features of the software with some basic configurations. Once we have Device Control open, we can add a device by selecting Add Device from the toolbar and then selecting our amplifier from the list, then Add. Double-clicking on the device in our list brings us to the Dip Switches page. Here we can use the data from our speaker specifications to work out the configuration for our dip switches. If we look at the specifications for the Tannoy VX12, we can see that the recommended amplifier power is 400 watts at 8 ohms. In device control, we set our impedance to 8 ohms on the power and sensitivity calculator, and our output power is calculated. We now adjust our VPL to match the output power as close to our specifications. If we can't match our power exactly, it is better to use the closest value below the specification. If we have multiple speakers on a channel, for example, three in parallel, we can adjust the new impedance and the calculator will display our new output power. The fourth switch on the channel is VPL mode, which is either a soft or hard knee. Generally, we'd use a soft knee for the tops and a hard knee for our subs. We can now use the dip switch settings on device control to configure our amplifier.